For being based off of a fighter plane, this Pokemon appears really peaceful. Like, look at it. What I would give to surf on this thing majestically on the water. Hello and welcome. I'm Cool Pikachu, and today we are continuing our challenge to create Pokemon regional variants for the whole Johto Pokedex. Today we are designing Mantine variants. And we'll not just be doing one, nope, we are doing four. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Mantine is probably one of my favorite Johto Pokemon. It's so majestic. Even as Pokedex entry reminds us constantly about this fact, which is a little funny when you realize it draws inspiration from a fighter plane. The animal it is based off of is the Manta Ray, which is why it's paired up with Remoraid, its little Remora sidekick. Fun fact, it's the only Pokemon to have another Pokemon in its sprite. Unfortunately, ever since Gen 4, Remoraid has not been seen with this Pokemon's in-game sprite slash model. I wonder if they had a falling out. You know what? Kites are peaceful, and Mantine also takes inspiration from kites as demonstrated with the wings and tail. It is classified as the kite Pokemon, so there's that. For these variations, I decided to switch up the Manta Ray species and pair it with various weapons slash airships. So without further ado, let's get designing. First up, we got the Torpedo Mantine. For the type of Manta Ray, I took inspiration from the Shark Manta Ray. I made the body of this Mantine more slimmer and the head shape more square. So instead of this Mantine taking a nod to fighter planes, I decided to take inspiration from torpedoes. I kind of made the tail resemble the small fins of a torpedo, while at the same time keeping them the same shape as normal Mantine's tail. The most iconic part of the shark manta ray is its white splotches. Almost looks like a whale shark. I incorporated those pattern markings in my design for the torpedo Mantine. I shortened the wingspan and gave it two extra fins to make it more shark-like. For the colors, I changed it to be more gray similar to that of a torpedo, and then made the patterns a lighter gray color. And here we have it, Torpedo Mantine. Which region do you think this one would reside in? Let me know in the comment section below. Next, we have the UFO Mantine. I had a whole lot of fun with this one. The manta ray that I based this design off of was the electric ray. That ray is almost perfectly round, so it gave me the idea to base this Mantine off of a UFO or some sort of alien spaceship. I transformed Mantine's wings to wrap around its body, making it resemble that of an electric ray. Its little feeler things? Antenna? I exaggerated the shape to make it look like those cartoony green alien designs. It plays into the whole UFO thing I've got going. And to finish it off, I made six spots on the underside of its wings. Makes it look more like an alien ship, you know? For the color palette, I went with different shades of yellow, and I made the spots a bright yellow. And there we have it, UFO Mantine. I feel like this one would be an electric type. Maybe electric flying? Alright, next one is the Glider Mantine. As this name suggests, I based this one off of a hang glider. As for the type of ray that inspired it, I chose the Butterfly Ray. I mimicked the shape of that animal to transform Mantine's wings to be a more cohesive triangle shape making it look like a hang glider. I changed the patterns of the wings to look kind of like a monarch butterfly. The butterfly ray doesn't have those patterns, but I took creative liberties. It's got butterfly in its name, so I made this variation more butterfly-like. I changed the antenna to resemble that of a butterfly, with a thinner base going into a rounder shape. I struggled with the colors for a bit until I settled on a reddish-pinkish color palette. And here we are, Glider Mantine. I feel like this one would gain a fairy typing. I can see it gliding along the cliffs of beaches as opposed to surfing in the waves. And lastly, we have Jet Mantine. This one I took inspiration from a couple different rays. I used the general shape based off of the Double Ray Mobular and took some inspiration from Stingrays. Instead of this Mantine being based off of a fighter plane, I based it off of jets, which I guess are similar, but I'm talking about those scary looking black ones. I made the design sharper than the rounded standard Mantine. The wings are more angular, similar to that of the Devil Ray Mobular. I also shaped the antenna to resemble Devil's Horns as a nod to the name of the ray that I based it off of. I made the tail thinner and added a Stingray barb on it. As for the colors, I gave it a dark blue coloration with a lighter face. And here we are, Jet Mantine. I'm torn on whether or not this one would be a dark type or poison type. Let me know which one you think it should be. And as always, comment on which one's your favorite. All right, so I went throughout the episode calling it Mantine, and it's like, is it Mantine or is it Mantine? I, I don't know, and like Pokemon pronunciations, whatever, whatever. Anyways, next up, we're going to be doing Mantine's counterpart Skarmory, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful day. Just remember to stay cool. Catch you all later.